this is the Journey Told podcast, and I'm your host, Sean Donati. I believe life is about the journey, not the destination, to find the journey in every step of the road, the highs and lows, the twists and turns, the ups and downs. It's in that. It's in those moments that really makes life so beautiful. Our guest today has a journey of her own. Louisa Warwick is the founder of marketing, advertising, and PR agency called Social Acceleration Group. She's also a fashion model, and she's been signed to several elite modeling agencies in her career. Please help me welcome Louisa to the show. Thank, Thank you so much for being here. Me. Thank you. It's an honor to be here with you. I am honored to just have you in my presence. So, I mean, as I just kind of gave that intro there, you wear so many multiple hats. Is there a one hat in particular that you feel like, okay, this is my jam, this is my main focus, or is it just a combination of really of it all? Yeah, I mean, honestly, like, I've always been a big believer in just exploring what you enjoy and what you're good at. So anything I decide to dedicate time to, um, I enjoy it. And I believe, I hope I'm good at it. <laughs> Was there a particular moment in your career where you felt like, okay, I've, I've made it. I'm, I'm there. My, my career is at this next step. And if so, what was that moment like for you? No, absolutely not. I mean, I'm a very firm believer that, you know, life, as you said, is a journey. And I think it's really important to just work hard, trade, stay true to yourself and just keep going and keep going. Um, I think, for me, if I thought I've made it, I wouldn't have, I, I don't think I would continue. And I think life is about exploring all avenues. And, you know, as I said, just working hard and enjoying yourself. It started in the modeling industry into fashion. Yeah, so I started in the modeling industry in the UK, actually. I went on a show called Britain's Next Top Model. Um, they have an American version over here called America's Next Top Model. And I went on that and that was a great experience. I moved to New York and I attended NYU and I was a full-time student for around a year. And then after that, I decided to go back into modeling and get a working visa in the United States and attend NYU and model at the same time. And I've been really fortunate over the years to have worked with some amazing brands and companies like Guess and Calvin Klein. And I've been signed to agencies like Wilhelmina and Elite. So yeah, um, that's how I got started in modeling and I still do it to this day. And, you know, I enjoy it. It's something different and I've met some amazing people on, along the way. Oh my God, and you're absolutely gorgeous. You must add that too. Well, so in regards to your public relations agency, how did you get started with that? And what would you say makes your agency unique? Yeah, absolutely. So I started Social Acceleration Group 48 hours after graduating NYU. I was still working as a fashion model at the time, so I didn't want to stop that and go into a traditional career like a lot of my peers at NYU. So I started this agency and knew off the bat that I wanted to go into it and make it successful um, within the first few weeks of launching. So we had a very strong celeb celebrity focus and we did marketing, um, which the two, to go hand in hand, especially if you're trying to promote a business in its initial stages, at least. So yeah, we did, and you know, we got written up in the New York Times, which was great um, within the first year of starting the business, which really helped sales. And from there, I just transformed it into PR and advertising in addition to marketing. And yeah, so on this present day, we primarily do PR and we also do marketing and advertising. What would you say has been the biggest challenge for you? I mean, you, cause the way you just told that story, you kind of just, you jumped out there, which is beautiful. Was there a challenge or has there been any challenges as an entrepreneur so far along the way? Yeah. I mean, I would say the biggest challenge is just getting started. Um, I, you know, I, 
a week prior to starting the business, I just formulated in my head and on paper, um, you know, a rough business plan and exactly how I was going to make it profitable. Um, and then from there, I just ex executed it. So, you know, the first six months of starting the business, I was working, you know, up to 16 hours a day, seven days a week. Um, so I think just having a good plan, trusting the plan, that makes sense, of course, and just executing is the hardest part of getting a business started, especially if you want to make it profitable in the first few months. It seems to me that people juggle a lot with knowing when is the right time to get a publicist, or let's just say they already have buzz going and they think, well, I don't need a publicist anymore, or, you know, it's, it's, it's that, that lingering question. What kind of advice can you give someone, a viewer, listener who may be watching, um, to, if they're in, in, a, in, a, in a mode where they're trying to decide do they need a publicist? What are three tips that someone can ask them themselves to understand if it's time or not? Yeah, absolutely. I think getting a publicist is can be really important and really help elevate not only yourself, but your brand that you're trying to promote. Um, I think if somebody is thinking of getting a publicist, I would advise what is your USP? Um, what makes you or your brand unique um what is your selling point that differentiates you between all the other competition out there um the second one would be do you have success that you want shared with the world and you know the third one i think is what image do you want to portray yourself online you know um there's a statistic out there that over 80% of customers google a business before making a purchase so you know, like a lot of people Google individuals or a company before, you know, meeting them or making a purchase. So what image do you want out there that is going to help sway people? Can you take us through your day to day? What's the day to day look like from the time you kind of get up and start in the morning if until you lay your head down at night in general? Yeah, of course. So I work out for around an hour every day. Um, I really like to keep fit, um, not only for physical reasons, but also just to keep my head clear, especially if I've got a very busy, stressful day coming up. And then the rest of the day, I'm just working on social acceleration group. I'm working with my various clients, speaking to them, um, sending a lot of emails back and forth and yeah, just uh, working on the business. What do you do for yourself when you're not feeling your best? How do you give to yourself so that you're able to give fully to all these other people in your life? I think self-care is really important. Um, people have it in different ways. Um, for me personally, if I'm not feeling amazing, um, I'll perhaps go out and exercise um, or I will get a massage or just relax and just breathe and just focus on myself and usually that does the trick what's next for you what are you working on now currently if you can share it's anything that you could share with the audience it's a few things I can't share but the things I can share is uh you know we got a lot of very exciting things coming up with social acceleration group um you know we're doing really well with clients um we've gotten a lot of clients verified on instagram to date through the press we've gotten them which is always a big seller for us um yeah and that's uh that's about it just uh keeping working hard and grinding on that's awesome when you mentioned the verifications is that a big request for you yeah i mean we don't offer verification um strictly verification we offer press that has gotten many of our clients verified um just through personal experience i find there's no correlation between you know like how many followers you have versus getting verified i've found for all my clients and also myself verification is through press so there's you know there's certain uh, outlets that really help get people verified on instagram do you think people put a lot of pressure on that, having that blue check? Do you think that it's, you know, it's a big deal or is it just a facade? I think getting verified can have a heap of benefits to somebody, um, you know, to a business, it makes them seem more legitimate. Um, 
for an individual, especially if someone's maybe a fashion model or an influencer, it can be an indicator that you can up your rates um, in the modeling world or as an influencer. Um, so it definitely has benefits to it um, for sure. Are you spiritual? Do you have any type of spiritual practices that you do every day? Do you meditate or do a, use a vision board? No, I'm not spiritual. Um, I, I like to exercise. Um, that's my kind of thing. Um, I, I'll, I'll go on long runs. I'll go to the gym and things like that. That's what clears my head and keeps me very level headed. Yeah. That's your, that's your thing that you must do every day to get you. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Hey, can you finish this sentence for me? I am a, Ooh, uh, I am a A1 personality type. Okay, I like that. And a master of? <laughs> I am a master of snuggling my cat, Ralph. Oh, okay, that's sweet. Who can control my own? <laughs> Who can control my own? Control your own what? Your own life, your destiny, your future, your destiny. Yeah. destiny. <laughs> Not to put words in your mouth, but... Yeah. I, I love asking that question. It's so interesting to hear what comes up in someone's mind of how they would fill in the blank for that. Okay. <laughs> so I would like to wrap up with a segment that we call tell and tell, which is the play on the word show and tell. What okay. is something that you can tell the audience about yourself, a secret, if you will, that no one knows. This is something that you have not shared before publicly. Okay. Something that I have never shared publicly. Yeah. Um, oh, I don't know. This is a really tough one. I feel like I'm very open and transparent. I feel like that's good. Really, that I've uh, not revealed okay. before. That's exciting. <laughs> <laughs> if someone wants to get in touch with you, follow you along your journey, how can they go about doing that? How can they contact you? Yeah, absolutely. So I'm on Instagram at Louisa Warwick and my company website is Social Acceleration Group. And there's a contact form on the website. Okay. And then I'm sure someone may be wondering this. Are you open to new clients at the moment? Yes, absolutely. Yeah. I mean, the great thing about Social Acceleration Group is, you know, we're very open to um, different clients. Like we represent such a broad range of individuals and businesses. Um, and we, you know, not only do we help get people pressed that has led to many individuals getting verified on Instagram but you know we're really great for people who have never had a PR agent before and don't want to get tied into a long lengthy and expensive um, retainer um, so we're really good at just getting clients first time press that's relatively inexpensive and just paints them in a really good light. That's beautiful. That's it's so beautiful because it's it's definitely needed. It's definitely needed. Yeah, for sure. And I, I think the idea of PR can be, you know, very intimidating to a lot of people. Um, you know, there's a lot of PR firms out there that talk a big talk and don't deliver. And, you know, you end up being tied into a contract for months at a time. And um, so I definitely think we reach a certain market where it's for first-time customers as well. That's wonderful. So if someone is interested in PR services or interested in following along with you and your influencer campaigns, the people that you're connected with and just on your journey in general, they can go to your social media page and do that as well. Yeah, absolutely. All right. Well, thank you. Thank you so much for being on the show. I really, really appreciate you being here. I really enjoyed the conversation with you. Of course. Thank you so much for having me on. Well, that is it for this episode of The Journey Told Show. I want to leave you with words that my father would so often say to me, and that's to be the best version of you that you can be. Until next time, folks, let that sizzle in your spirit.